Why are men and women called men and women? A little story. When God created human beings, He created man first, but He wasn't satisfied with His work. It was like, uh, man. Then He decided to create another man. This time, He was pretty satisfied with His beautiful work. He was like, whoa, man. Therefore, we have men and whoa, man. In modern society, men and women have equality, but we behave fundamentally differently. Men are aggressive, women are empathetic. Men care about how things work, women care about how people work. So, is there any scientific explanation of all these differences? Yes, there is. It comes down to one mysterious hormone, testosterone. To make things simple, I'm going to call it Mr. T. It is the level of Mr. T we are exposed to before we are born that determines all the gender differences in terms of our aggressiveness, our risk of takingness, our muscle strength, and the depth of voice, etc. Obviously, male embryos are exposed to a much higher level of testosterone compared with female embryos. So scientists have discovered that the genes that trigger the production of testosterone actually determines your finger growth. So you can actually know how much you are exposed to testosterone, not by taking a medical medical test, but by looking at your fingers. So everybody, please follow me. Take your take out your hand. Pay more attention to these two fingers: your ring finger and your index finger. Here's the secret: the longer your ring finger is relative to your index finger, the more testosterone you had in your mom's womb, and vice versa. So, gentlemen, most of you have longer ring fingers, and ladies, most of you have longer uh, index fingers. <laughs> okay. Because of Mr. T, men and women are so different. But this world is amazing. We are still attracted by each other, and we are so complemented by each other. And more importantly, we are being perfected by each other. Thank you very much.